go to prime. prime. Um, so I buried it. The, the, mm. the second prime in is done thin, so that I can see the lines. Okay. So that I can see the lines. You can see the pr the, the lines beneath the the, the, the prime. I want. I sometimes want. I must ask what 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 would the lead pencil on the raw canvas? Does it have? You know why I use the lead? It has a better um, lasting life. Uh, no, no, lead. Uh, lasting. X ray. Oh, X ray. Right. They use uh, X ray to examine painting. What was underneath? Yeah, I think about the lead also has so a the lead will show up better on an X-ray. Mm. You understand? Mm. Lead will show up. So I that's why I sign it. I sign it. Here. Let them let them as the more blazy monkey pool. Okay? Right up here. Oh it's signed already? It's, no no. Well I, I I usually sign it sometimes. I usually sign it. So, radio resolution. Let's let's no let the mazels. It could be less illusion the monkey pose. You are the one named name before you crossed it out. Yes. That was the first name. I haven't decided on you the first You had less illusion. Less illusion. Less illusion right. the monkey pose. The illusion that Steve gave us. Steve still gave us that this, this idea. idea that there that. and then you change it to repo. Right. Um, so it could be Les Illusions, the one we post, oh, yes. which is, I'm creating my own illusion of what was that one repo that we never got to see. You understand know what I mean? Um, because Steve always told us about one repo, but we never got to see what was in one, at one repo. I, one thing I, I, I your work is great. However, I don't see you mix colors. Mattis didn't mix colors. He, he just put colors. He used pure color. Pure so colors. Van Gogh didn't mix colors. He just put these colors. So did so right. Iris seemed like it was mixed to me. You look at it. You see the book colors are juxtaposed. Iris seemed like it was very well. Colors were juxtaposed. And what's the reason for not mixing? Just my style. Oh. I did. I was never taught how to. to, to remember, I am self-taught. I'm self-taught. But is it that you choose not to, or you just? Um, I choose not to. Because I've seen you done the painted where the colors are mixed. mixed yes. You have several, as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, I, I use complementaries. I use complementaries so that um, they enhance each other rather than mix them. For example, you notice I put a blue next to an or orange. Mm. They stand out better. I put a red next to a green. What is blue there now? Red next to green. Oh, it's a blue dress the lady's wearing? Yeah. It's not very easy to detect. I will use different values to enhance a color. Rather On a whole, as an artist, I don't, you, you don't follow the norm. Why is that so? Because I taught myself, so I I, I practice what I what I, I um, and I practice what I read too. So Radin mixed colors, he juxtaposed them, mm. and I like Sora's um, technique. But I do mix colors. Right now I'm mixing um, to get a darker color uh, to approximate black. Right now I'm using burnt sienna and uh, ultramarine blue to approximate black. Instead of using black, I'm, I'm using ultramarine blue 
And I've noticed that some artists, they do background, so they do the background coloring and then they... drummer in blue. And I'm mixing it with, um, Ben Sienna. Some artists... You, you, yeah. Some artists they do background images, background, and then they fill in. Yeah. But you choose not to do that. You do the images, then you do your background. I will. This thing when I'm starting, I started in the furries. I'm using the furries here, and I'm moving in. I'm moving in. Yeah. You know this all out here. I'm doing it following. Um, following. Perspective. This painting is more um, an exercise in perspective. The extremes of perspective. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. This painting is based on um, the theme of Picasso's The Mazel d'Avignon. And, and in that painting, Picasso destroyed perspective. Okay? Now, that is a painting I really like a lot, The Mazel d'Avignon. He destroyed perspective. So here, I'm, what I'm doing is using the extremes of the extremes of, of perspective to create my images. Okay, all the way out and coming in all the way where I, might, I actually exaggerate the images down here. For example, here you see. The lady, almost as big as the car, smaller than the lady. There's a distance. Yeah. So as you have here, bigger, the dog. Then the rose is much bigger than the dog. And that is what you call aerial perspective. Okay? I show perspective by juxtaposing the dog next to the, the tulip, showing the tulip much bigger because it, it, it's, intent, it's intended to be closer to me. So it's the extremes of perspective that I'm using to create those images. Sometimes it could even give a 